So much has happened in such a short amount of time around campus, and but none more exciting though than the return of Cliff Kingsbury, the construction at Jones AT&T Stadium, or the start of Big 12 basketball. Texas Tech Director of Athletics Kirby Hellcutt joins us to talk what's to come for Texas Tech Athletics. A crazy past couple weeks been an understatement to say the least. You know what a great couple of weeks. What an exciting time to be a Red Raider. Our fans, the excitement, the energy, the enthusiasm around the program is unlike anything I've seen. And when you think that by the end of business today, we will have sold over 1,500 new season football tickets for next year in the middle of December. That is incredible, unprecedented, and the support is, is unreal. Red Raiders continue to show their enthusiasm and support, and we're very fortunate. Let's go back to that Saturday when you got the phone call and you had a minute to kind of digest. Coach Tuberville has taken the job at Cincinnati. Was Coach Kingsbury's name immediately at the forefront for you? Well, his name was on my list and somebody that I was very interested in, somebody whose career I'd followed for the past number of years, somebody I knew his success that he had had recently and obviously his ties to Texas Tech University were important. And, uh, you know, so it, it was an opportunity, opportunity for me to have the chance to meet Cliff and get to know him. And, and ultimately, it was an obvious decision that he's the right man at this time to lead our football program forward and what we hope is a very long journey ahead. You, you made the decision to hire what is now the youngest head coach in the BCS. What do you tell fans who say, is he ready? He's only 33. Well, to me, uh, he's prepared. He's prepared his entire life, his entire career for this opportunity. And when you look at his pedigree, who he's been around, who he has learned under, who he's played for, some of the best names in college football, Bill Belichick, Gary Kubiak, you know, Kevin Sumlin is one of the great young coaches in the college football game today. So Cliff has prepared himself for this opportunity. There's no question in my mind that he's not ready and he's going to do a great job. The, the reaction from our team has been incredible. They're excited about Cliff Kingsbury leading them and I think it's going to be an exciting uh, few years ahead of us. There's a lot of excitement around campus as well with the construction starting over at the Jones. Can you give us an update a little bit about where that stands? De demolition in the north end zone started just yesterday. And between today and the kickoff of next football season, we'll have $15 million of uh, expansion and renovation in the north end zone. It's going to be a beautiful project. It's going to add uh, limited new uh, chair back seating in the north end zone. It's going to include the new large screen high definition video board, the new sound system, and a new north end zone concourse. We're going to be able to uh, greatly expand the north end zone con concourse that will be an added benefit for our fans in the stadium. Lastly, Big 12 basketball is about to get underway. Both teams sitting great going into conference play. What do you expect to see from both the men and the women? Well, I, I expect to see uh, two teams that are going to compete hard each and every night. And I couldn't be prouder of uh, the position that both of our teams are in today, the way that they've competed in their non-conference schedule. And uh, this is the time of year that college basketball gets fun. When the calendar turns to, De to January and uh, we get into conference play, it, it becomes a lot of fun. So I'm excited about both the men's and women's team and look forward to a great Big 12 season.